two training sessions on the lead up to this. Couldn't ask for any more of like anyone. Like we know we can do it. So just enjoy it now. It's two and a half minutes. Love what you're doing. This is an amazing routine with so many good athletes on it. We just got to go out there and enjoy it. My name is Gareth Green and I am the owner and head coach of Crimson Heat Tigers. Before I joined cheerleading, I was a gymnastics coach and I had one view of cheerleading, which is the whole thing is just wrong. I didn't understand it. Um, from what I'd seen, it was obviously palms on the sideline of an American football match. Um, so when I first saw the advert for a tumble coach to come into a cheerleading team, I was like, no, 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 never. Um, until I actually went, I went to a competition and I was kind of blown away by the stunts and the, the technicalities behind some of the movements. Well, my older sister did it, so I got into cheer. I just watched her and I was just tried it out because I always come, came to her practices after when she finished, so I just kind of joined in, I guess. Coming from gymnastics, it looked pretty easy because some of the skills are um, not as hard as in gymnastics, but then when I started doing it, it was a completely different story. <laughs> I'm cheerleading because it's quite a new sport, it's not in the Olympics yet, so World's Championship is the biggest competition you can go to as a cheerleader. When we got our world's bid it was quite surreal. Oh, it was amazing when we were at the competition and they announced us. From level five, senior medium, Crimson Heat Tigers! Everyone started crying and it was a lot of fun though, like we ran up on the stage, jumping about, it was really good. I'm feeling a little bit nervous for the next competition because obviously it's been a while since I've competed and um, we have a new routine and it's a lot harder than the last one. And we've never really competed this early on in the season, so it's kind of a big thing for us. Um, the training sessions are quite intense. Uh, we do a lot of conditioning and they push us quite hard most of the time. It needs a lot of concentration, a lot of stamina and strength. Get ready for Tabata 1. Five, four, three, two, one. When we don't hear a stunt, it's quite like heartbreaking. <laughs> like afterwards, you just kind of, because you put them down and then you just stand there, like, or marking it or try and get it back up, but it's really difficult. Some stunts I'm struggling with are probably pyramid when lots of stunts are all put together and you like link with other groups and you have to like work with them, but also try and hit yours. And if they fall, then you fall, so it's quite difficult. Seven, eight, one, and hold. Pyramid's scary, like, I get a bit nervous then, like, I'm at, the, at the end of tumble, I'm stood there and I'm like, Lord, have my soul. When you do hit well, you have to make sure that you um, show the positivity, because then, again, it influences others and it makes you more motivated to work even harder for the next one. For me, because I'm quite new to cheerleading, I'm still getting used to the stunts bit. Um, there's still quite a lot of times where there's um, issues with my technique and I get told off for it a lot of times. Delphine, it's really hard. <laughs> Got kicked right in the nose. That took about, that was like a five day recovery. It still hurt like on like Wednesday and we train on Friday. That was painful. The flyers fell down on the floor and the girl got knocked out. I think that happened twice. So I um, damaged my ligaments two months ago, um, tumbling on hard floor in my ankle. So I've just started tumbling like in the past week and getting back to it. Another time when, I think it was the same flyer actually, as she landed, she ripped like the inside of the mouth of one of our bases. You've got to like carry on in the routine and you've just got to, you've just got to fight it and you just be like, oh, I've got this, I've got this. And then it got to Pyramid and I was like, I've still got it. And then in dance, I was like crying, but you know, you gotta like perform because it's the dance, you know, that's like the best bit.
I thought cheerleading was just like pom poms and what they all do in America, like stuff like that, but it's really not, it's completely different. I think surrounding cheer, the stereotypes are either that it's not sport, you don't work hard, you just, it's just mess around sport or not even a sport at all and you just have pom poms and you, you cheer for people, whereas like, we cheer for a team, we cheer to compete. Cheerleading is not just that, like there is that, but then we do a much, I say, much harder, athletic, um, intense type of cheerleading. Congratulations for making it here in this far. This is the second step. First step to Worlds. First step to Worlds. Have the best time ever. Let's dominate as always. Control everything. If it comes down, don't give a shit. We're moving straight on to the next thing. We'll pick it up later on. Positivity, teamwork. Let's stay together. Let's stay united. Let's go and play. A cheerleader needs to be extremely committed. 80% um, is just never enough in this sport if you want to get to the top. Um, they obviously need to be as talented as an elite gymnast in terms of tumbling. We're looking at double twists for level five and that's skills that you see at the Olympics. They need to be a team player. They need to be strong, independent um, and extremely self-disciplined. I stretch and I condition at home and then in the gym we just work as hard as we can and we try and get as much done in each practices. It's very clear, like it's been made clear that if you haven't got a commitment then you'll be off the team, doesn't matter what level you are. Like teamwork is the most important thing. Um, because you just need to get along with people and need to be able to work in a team to be able to succeed. You just got to know they'll catch you. If you like believe in your bases, they'll believe in you, and it kind of just all works in the end. In the gym, there is nothing but harmony, friendship, and a sense of purpose, a sense of team. We can still have a laugh and joke around, whereas still training really hard and like getting to where we need to be. <laughs> So something like cheerleading um, is a really powerful thing to have because you are an international cheerleader, you are a national champion, you are a regional champion, and that has a lot of strength behind it, it provides these girls with an identity. So cheerleading also provides a network of friends, but a true network of friends. So team and family are very, very close within, within the cheerleading gym. Um, well, the, I think the best part of cheerleading is being like a family because we're all like so close. Like, I could call these girls for anything. Like, we're just, I don't know, it's just weird. Like, you, like, the friendships at school isn't the same as in cheer. Destructive groups that happen outside of cheer, at school, at colleges, um, out on the street, within the gym, it doesn't happen. The discipline that Gareth has towards his athletes, his coaches, and it's a really nice atmosphere to be in, very supportive. I feel like I can completely be myself around everybody at cheer. And you know, I feel like everybody else feels the same. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna it just kind of makes you want to get involved, doesn't matter what level, it just you want to be on the team because it's quite special. <laughs> There's obviously a lot of expectations for Crimson Heat at the competition after getting their bid, their partial pay bid. My message to my athletes is to ignore those expectations. The only expectation they need to worry about is the ones that have been set for them by us, and that's to do the best job they can to follow instruction in the gym, to hit clean. That's it.
the flames to win that gold. You hear them screaming, he the lead. I'm extremely proud of them. Uh, they were excellent from start to finish. In terms of the routine, their tumbling was the best I've seen them. We had a couple of um, issues in the pyramid, but they kind of picked it up and fixed things towards the end. It was a good routine. It was a good routine. Third place goes to EMCA Killer Queens. At the top two now, second place, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Coventry Dynamite's Lady Grenades. Therefore, this year's winner of the International Open Level 5 goes to Crimson Tigers Fury. Now that cheerleading has been recognised by the International Olympic Committee, once that starts to progress internationally and people start to see it more often, um, then that, that stereotype will disappear. People who don't know stuff, so lack of knowledge will always create a stereotype. It's not just cheerleading, it's with everything. I want to say thank you to my teammates for just being so supportive and so loving, like all the time so positive, like they just lift you up at your like worst times, it's just so nice to have them just there, like you know you can rely on them to be there, it's really nice. I've watched level 5 teams for years, like as I said I've been here for so long and like to finally be up there with like the best, like, best teams, it's just really it's really exciting and like I'm really excited for the journey ahead for like the rest of the season. I think this team will go really far in the future. If we're already going to Worlds, then I'm sure we can definitely go again. In the future, I think over the years, the programme will get bigger. Crimson Heat is a very um, special thing in my life. Like Crimson is like another family to me. 